The House of Representatives has condemned in its entirety the act of certificate record sharing by Nigerian students in collusion with some officials of ministries, departments and agencies, MDAs in Nigeria. The motion to check the Malays was brought to plenary by Honorable Abubakar Fulata, who called for the investigation of the allegations of certificate record sharing among students in connivance with staff of some MDAs. Honorable Fulata observed that in the last two months, the country has been plagued by a scandal involving Omar Audu, a journalist who went undercover to investigate a booming business where he obtained a certificate on transcription on, or transcript from Cotonou, Bene Republic, and participated in the NYSC scheme within a month. While calling for appropriate sanctions for the act, Fulata says this has not only put a question mark on the quality of certificates and the capacity of graduates from most universities, which is tarnishing the image of the country's educational system. The decision, of the, the decision to place a ban on the production of beverages in small sachets and bottles will encourage unscrupulous elements to go about producing such drinks and products without recourse to NAFTA. Aware that the ban on the registration of beverages in small sachets and bottles will cause more hardship on Nigerians whose livelihoods come from the production and sale of such beverages. And we, in the long run, plunge more Nigerians into unemployment and economic hardship and cause them to suffer more in view of the current subsidy removal in there. In a related development, the House also mandated its Committee on National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAPDAC, to investigate the basis and circumstances surrounding the ban imposed on the production of beverages in sachet and small bottles in Nigeria by the agency. The motion was sponsored by Honorable Pascal Agbodike at plenary on Wednesday. The lawmaker says the ban coming at this time will further aggravate the hardship confronting poor Nigerians and cause more havoc and job losses for over 50% of the workers in Nigeria. The House also at plenary urged the Federal Road Safety Commission and Nigerian police to enforce the law on the use of sirens on Nigerian roads and clamp down on all those who are not entitled to use sirens for necessary sanctions to serve as deterrents. Honorable Jesse O.K., who made the motion, argued that this action often disrupts free flow of traffic with devastating effects on the economy due to the loss of man hours at gridlocks amongst other negative eff effects on the economic lives of citizens. The House has mandated its committees on Federal Road Safety Commission and Police Affairs to ensure compliance. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.